Somaliland, a region in the Horn of Africa, has been striving for recognition as a sovereign nation since declaring independence from Somalia in 1991. Despite establishing its constitution, military, currency, and passport, and conducting democratic elections, international recognition as an independent country remains elusive. The fundamental question at the heart of Somaliland's struggle is, what defines a nation? Membership in the United Nations does not automatically confer statehood. Numerous UN member states do not recognize each other. For instance, consider the enduring divide between South Korea and North Korea or the fact that 28 member states do not acknowledge Israel. According to international law, statehood entails a defined territory, a permanent population, a functioning government, and the ability to engage in relations with other states, all criteria that Somaliland meets. However, achieving recognition is complicated by numerous separatist regions and sovereign countries that also fulfill these criteria. From the 1880s to 1960, Northwest Somalia, known today as Somaliland, was under British protection, while the northeast to the south was under Italian governance. Somaliland achieved independence on June 26, 1960, making it a sovereign nation. However, its autonomy was short-lived as five days later it voluntarily united with Italian Somaliland to establish the Republic of Somalia. However, the new state faced significant challenges in harmonizing administrative traditions and balancing power between various clans. Somalia's immediate conflicts with its neighbors Kenya and Ethiopia further complicated matters. In 1969, Syed Bar seized power in a coup that would see Somalia under military rule for decades. His leadership faced increasing opposition, which was further exasperated after Somalia's defeat in the Agadan War by Ethiopia. Due to increased opposition, Bar deployed Somali special forces against clan dissidents opposing his dictatorial regime. In the 1980s, members of the Isaac clan joined forces to establish the Somali National Movement, a resistance movement launching attacks from Ethiopia and sparking the Somaliland War of Independence. Simultaneously, other clan-based rebel groups across Somalia engaged in combat against the Somali armed forces, resulting in the government's collapse in 1991. While southern Somalia descended into violence, Somaliland sought resolution through local cooperation culminating in its Declaration of Independence on May 18, 1991. In 1993, Mohamed Ibrahim Igal was elected president of Somaliland. He introduced the Somaliland shilling and commenced reconstruction efforts. While international focus was largely on Somalia's civil war, Somaliland's autonomy allowed it to explore peace-building and state development free from external interference. In a 2001 referendum, 97% of the voters supported Somaliland's independence. More than three decades later, international recognition remains elusive due to various factors. Italy is opposed to succession due to economic interests in southern Somalia and historical ties. Egypt supports the unity of Somalia to assert control over Ethiopia, a competitor for Nile water usage. Arab states advocate for a unified sunny Somalia. The USA and several EU countries are focused on stabilizing Somalia and recognizing Somaliland is perceived as counterproductive. Most importantly, the African Union is committed in its support of a united Somalia as it fears that recognition of Somaliland could trigger more successionist claims across the continent. While Somalia maintains its stance in favor of a unified federation, Somaliland persists in its pursuit of independence. The future of this region remains uncertain, poised between the aspirations of its people and the geopolitical realities of the region.